Men and women gathered on Buchanan Street to protest Glasgow pickup artist Addie Agame. Videos have surfaced showing the man approaching young women and using a series of lines and tactics, he tries to persuade them to go home with him. This display of solidarity has been organised by the Empowered Women's Project and is hoped to show the people of Glasgow that this behaviour is not acceptable. A crying, emasculated man. This is what feminists like. I thought this is what they find attractive. We as men, we are constantly being told that we need to reconnect more with our emotions. So I would have thought a guy like this would be a feminist's wet dream. I'm so fucking, I'm fed up and I'm sad about it. I'm sad. I'm sad that, I'm sad that the, these hit pieces are coming out. I'm sad. What motivated me to want to make my video, Feminist Real Shock and Truth About Pick Party Seminars, because I'm sad. I'm sad for these young men who don't have proper guidance, don't have proper communities, don't have a healthy male space, a healthy male container to meet with other men, to discuss their trials and tribulations with other men, to learn from experienced men. And I'm not, this is the thing, I'm not just talking pickup. The beauty that got me sucked into these YouTubers, in my case, it's real social dynamics. The beauty that got me sucked into their YouTube channels 10 years ago just about is that the the pickup advice the dating advice which also by the way is usually some pretty damn good advice and i'm really happily dating my hot girlfriend for five years now and having an amazing relationship thanks to these people otherwise i would have never accomplished that but it's not just about that dating advice it's not at all well, as the founder of the Empowered Women Project, women's rights are hugely important to me. As a woman, like, it's easy for me to get pissed off when people say, oh, we're doing this in the name of women, and then guess what? It's a video all about you. But, oh well. This video surfaced um, last week about this guy who's a so-called pickup artist called Abby Hagee. And what he does is teach other men how to approach women in the street and basically harass them until you get their number and take them home. It's coercive behaviour um, and it's, it's deeply disturbing. Um, off the back of that, I decided to arrange a bit of a rally to say this is not okay, we won't feel unsafe on the streets, um, and that's how today came about. The Empowered Women Project was launched after my mental health swiftly deteriorated. This person you see here today, she creates content for the BBC. I felt frantic. I was sat on the bridge ready to take my own life. The next thing I remember is being in the back of a police car being escorted somewhere, and they took me to a hospital where I was sectioned under the Mental Health Act. You want to seem superior by highlighting other people's faults and insecurities in order to hide your own. They have no personality. They don't have much to offer apart from some low-level wit and sarcasm. And they have minimal talent, so they rely on putting people down. It's see-through. It's shallow. It's hollow. Where are you going to go? with that negative shit in the long run. This is an example of how not to be. Don't be that creepy fucker trying to get people on side. It's very manipulative. It's human beings. Girls are human beings. Don't try and fucking manipulate them with your fucking comedy shit. Try and put fucking pickup artists down. Fuck pickup artists. We got a fuck about pickup artists. It just shows they have very low self-esteem. Seeing the YouTube channel that this guy set up, I felt like some of the vulnerable girls in the videos could have been me at some point. I, I'm quite lucky that I wasn't sort of 17, 18, 19 when social media was around. However, I just feel for these vulnerable girls who clearly haven't consented to being filmed and didn't know that they were the subject of some sort of game. Um, I just think it's I just great. I don't know who this protest chick is. She sounds like some sad loser with nothing going on in her life. She's probably lonely bored in a feminist head case. From what I've been told, she's quite unattractive. I would never approach her. She sounds like she's obsessed with me. And still no sign of my husband because he hadn't been where he said he'd been. He'd been with the woman who he left me for later that day. I lost everything overnight. The divorce came through. He gave up on me just like everyone else had done. I was moved into temporary homeless accommodation. I started making poor decisions. Okay, so none of that panned out. You can't cook, you live on ice cream, checking your bank balance terrifies you, and you're single, but you're happy, and that's the main thing. Doing good onto others, of doing good for yourself, of doing the most with your life, of feeling alive, feeling present, feeling engaged, which, once you can hone into that reality, 
consequence could be that you attract people who want to spend time with you, romantic, friendships, whatever. Great, it's a win-win-win because then we've just created these amazing individuals learning this content who then get to be amazing people who are a light in the lives of other people. This is the good. So the reason why I encourage, like, point our fingers at ourselves. I'm so fed up. I'm so fed up because I only got closer to these communities after making Feminist Reveal Shocking Truth about Pickup Artist Seminar. We need to not only call it out, but we need to make sure that if we see this behaviour as citizens, that we, we feel that we can approach and help people. What's this woman talking about? It seems like we're living in a different universe altogether. They're just guys. They're just beautiful amazing men who have experiences of a lot of pain they don't feel aligned to their identity the world they grew up in the society they grew up in doesn't give men a clear path in how to embody themselves as men you know and to me the world that we are in and this is why as like feminist as pickup artists no the men don't want me and the women don't want me because i'm trying to speak and bind these worlds together i'm creating a bridge because what i see is like if we want to talk about patriarchy and if we want to talk about toxic masculinity i think society as i see it breeds those behaviors and i think these other coaches are trying their best to create an alignment within young men so that they can knock toxic masculinity out of the way and create these balanced men going about the world living their best lives and also nurturing amazing and fulfilling relationships with women it's hugely important that women come along and men today to show that we won't stand for this behavior on our streets and um, day and night we want people to feel safe enough to go around about their day without worrying about being harassed and bombarded by some guy who's just you know preying on vulnerable people that sounds quite sexist to me she's already belittling him it's almost like she's not sure of what she's saying like it's a question she's saying it almost as if like uh is this what you want me to say is this what you want to hear it's not sexism to confuse the two is dishonest you would have thought that the program makers would have checked what sexism was before they started a witch hunt on those that supposedly practice it anyway let's look at the dictionary definition of what sexism is so this is the collins uh dictionary definition sexism is the discrimination on the basis of sex especially the oppression of women by men even the modern dictionary definition of sexism is sexist <laughs> he's not being sexist at least not by the collins dictionary definition i felt like a coward in a hospital ward pacing the corridors wondering why i couldn't even manage to end it all i'd even failed at that i was thinking recently about just how much porn i consumed i felt like a coward i felt like a coward